Dr. Nicholas Mercer with you, Improved PT. In this video, I'm going to show you a different way that you can stretch the posterior hip capsule, which I've shown in a few other videos where you get on your knee and you try to push that femur up into the hip to stretch the joint capsule of the hip, specifically the back of the joint capsule, so that when you go to move into hip flexion, that femur can move to the back of the acetabulum properly. Now, one issue that a lot of people have with the traditional posterior hip capsule stretch is uh, they have to put their knee on the ground. And for a lot of people with knee pain or knee issues, or just like me that have really bony knees, it can be really uncomfortable to do this. And when something is uncomfortable, we won't do it, right? So I wanted to show you a, a different way that we can stretch the posterior hip capsule. And just because if you, if you do benefit from the original version with the knee on the ground, this can still benefit you because it's a different position. It requires a little more stabilization while you are moving into the hip capsule stretch. And you can do it pretty much anywhere that you have a little elevation. So you won't look really weird when you're out in public and you're like, oh, I got to do stretch my posterior hip capsule. And then you get on the floor and put you in all this stuff. So here's what we're going to do. You need something that's going to elevate your foot um, a few inches. I have a yoga block here and, and that'll work just fine for, for most people. If you have a step or even just a curb, that will, um, that will be sufficient. And all you're going to do is you're going to have both feet flat on the floor and well, one foot flat on the floor, the other one uh, flat on the step. And you're going to try to shift your weight over to that left side a little bit. And as you do this, and I'm actually going to show you from this angle so you can see, see this a little better. As you do this, you want to turn your body towards the hip that we're working on, the hip that's up on the ledge. Put one hand here. One hand keeps the knee from turning out like that. Okay. And what you should feel as you shift your weight over and turn is back through here, you get a nice stretch, right? It, you may feel it a little more superficial. You may feel it deeper, but it should be back through here. You're getting a nice stretch. You're not letting that knee go out. You're keeping it in like this as you turn. And you're putting the weight through the heel of that leg. And you should, over time, with this hand, you actually might feel those muscles kind of do a little uh, a spasm. They might twitch a little bit and then ease up as you can get lower and lower and lower. Okay, I'm gonna do my other side so you can see from the front too. And so that I'm a little more even. So one foot up, other foot flat. I'm gonna turn towards this hip, drive through my heel, keep my hand from, uh, or keep my knee from going out to the side with my hand as I turn and load my right side. And I feel that right back through here. It's a nice stretch. Now, if when you do this, you feel pinching in your hip, I want you to reset, take a nice big exhale, activate transverse abdominis, pull the belly button in, try to flatten your back a little more, and then move into it. You'll probably feel two things here. One, well, one is you'll feel the lack of pinching, but you'll probably feel the adductors turning on a little more, right? So you'll feel adductors turning on a little bit, that impingement should be cleared and you should feel that stretch to the back of that hip. Okay. Try to hold this for at least a minute. Um, but if you can only get like 20, 30 seconds in, it's better than nothing. But that will help you uh, um, open up the back of the hip capsule to allow the hip move properly because when the, when the body moves properly, when the joint moves properly, you feel like you should, which is less pain, less pinching. Um, when you move like a human should, you feel like a human should. So that is just an extra posterior hip capsule mobilization stretch that you can use. Whether or not your knee is painful when you put it on the ground, you can use this, right? So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And um, I actually made this video based on feedback from another one of my viewers and one, uh, another one of my subscribers. So please leave me feedback in the comments below what you want to see any issues you have with these exercises, ways that we can work around so you can still get the benefit without hurting or damaging or having pain in other body parts. Okay. And make sure you download the free You Improve PT app. Give it a shot. It will help you decrease 
your hip pain, especially if it's from label tears, hip impingement, and arthritis. And again, thanks for watching.